join me today. Sorry for the delay for all of you who are subscribers and know I usually post on Mondays and Thursdays and that is going to change a little bit due to some family issues that we're having. So welcome everybody back and welcome everybody who is new. I hope you love this video and my content and want to hit the subscribe button and follow along on my YouTube journey where I share all things home friendly content whether it's decor, shopping, easy meals you can make quickly for your family during the week, anything home related. And I would so love it if you were be part of my YouTube family as well. I also wanted to thank all of you who follow me also over on Instagram at Treasures by Tina 28. Um, I had posted that, you know, when you have older elderly parents, you know, later on in life, they do need your help and your assistance sometimes. And my parents are in that stage right now where my brother and I really have to kick in, be present more, do more things, and all the things that you would do for your parents. So with that being said, that's why my video was postponed. And um, I'm still gonna do two videos a week, hopefully, but, but they'll probably, my schedule probably will change to maybe Tuesdays and Saturdays. This way it gives me a little bit more time and flexibility to assist my parents, you know, with everything that they need. So as of right now, Tuesdays and Saturdays are going to be my posting days. And again, if you hit the little notifications bell below, then you will be notified whenever I make a video. And I might start setting them as premieres. This way you guys will get a notification if you hit that little bell, and then you'll know when my video is up just in case I have to postpone it a day. Um, but that is what's going on and that's why my video's uh, schedule is going to change and why this video was postponed. So thank you all for your sweet and kind messages. I appreciate every single one. And now let's get on to this video. Today I'm actually filming in my bedroom because my husband is cleaning out the den and it's near like the kitchen and the living room and I don't wanna hear him and I'm sure you guys don't wanna hear him either but that will be an upcoming video because we are redoing the den and changing it around and making it more functional and more beautiful. And I can't wait to share that with you. But today's video are my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. And these are not the usual ones. So there's not like Christmas Vacation or Miracle on 34th Street or A Christmas Story. These are all movies that I found um, just, you know, searching for movies, for Christmas movies on either Amazon Prime, Hulu, and I think maybe one or two were on Netflix, but I'm not sure. But at the very end, I'm going to list all the movies for you. This way you can just like kind of type them in on your computer and see what's available and how you can watch it. But I think most of them were Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Netflix. So most of them are very cheerful. They all kind of display the hint of Christmas and what the season means to us. So they're all very much um, related to the Christmas spirit of joy, of giving, of loving. They're definitely um, movies that your kiddos could watch or you could watch as a family, gather around the TV with the Christmas tree on, a bowl of popcorn, and snuggle in so you guys can watch a really good movie. So most of them, I had to write them down so I didn't forget, um, are very cheerful and will make you smile, but there are two that ladies have your tissues, and it's number one and number ten. I sobbed, and I am not a movie crier, but you will sob. So the first one um, that I'm going to recommend, and as I talk about it, I'll insert a picture um, of like the, the movie itself, and then I'll start, insert, like I said, a list at the end so you guys can find them. So the first one is The Christmas Shoes. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen them yet, but it is so heartfelt, so it will make you cry and it will make you happy and it will give you all of the emo those emotions all at the same time. And that one, I have to put on my glasses because I can't read without them. But the Christmas shoes, <coughs> the little synopsis is a young boy tries to get a pair of Christmas shoes for his dying mother while a lawyer tries to deal with the breakup of his marriage. 
and the two of them interconnect. And again, so heartfelt, such a beautiful story, and it will make you cry. So have your tissues handy. The next one is the Christmas candle. And the Christmas candle um, is um, made back in like older days, like in the 1800s or 1700s. And it's about a Christmas candle. Um, it has, I don't think it has any, they're mostly all English because I think it was filmed in England. But it's all about a Christmas candle and how it divided a town and then how it brought a town together. And it is so heartfelt. It's got some comedy in it. It's got a little bit of sadness in it, but you and your family will love it. Number three is the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> and the spirit of Christmas is one of my favorites. And a, it's about an inn. And I think it's like in Vermont. An inn in Vermont, I think. And actually, I can put on my glasses and I can actually tell you. So the little synopsis is, 12 days before Christmas, Kate is trying to close the sale of a historic inn, only to find that Daniel, the ghost of a man who died a century ago, needs her help to, unmet, to unravel the mystery of his death. And it is so, I love this movie. It's very like heartfelt and has a few little funny moments in it, has a couple little moments that make you jump a little bit. Um, but I think it's a movie that you and your family will love. The next one is The Rooftop Christmas. So I should just keep my glasses on, but then you have the ring in my eyes. But anyway, so this is Darcy's been striving for the perfect Christmas since childhood. And thanks to a magical figurine, her dream finally comes true. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the roof. That's just Christmas perfection. I'm sorry. Skipped ahead. So number four, I'm talking about Christmas perfection. And it's about a girl named Darcy. And she has like this, she's always thinks that Christmas needs to be perfect, that she never had the perfect Christmas. So she tries to control this little Christmas village that she has. And she ends up going to sleep and waking up in her Christmas village. And it is really cute. And it's kind of like a Christmas movie meets Groundhog Day. And you'll see what I mean when you watch it. It's a really fun, fun movie and I really enjoyed it. And I watched it several times. Actually, I watched most of these several times. So that was Christmas Perfection. That was number four. Number five is Rooftop Christmas. So Rooftop Christmas, the little synopsis is, every year since Sarah was a child, her lonely neighbor has had a rooftop Christmas tree. Lately, he's been arrested for it. This year, Sarah is back in town as a lawyer and helps him. And it's kind of sad in a way, but then it's kind of happy in a way too. It's, it's about this gentleman who puts a little Christmas tree on his roof every Christmas and the town and everybody's upset at him because they think it's an eyesore. And then um, his neighbor, who's a lawyer, comes back and the story unravels of why he does it. And it is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas movie. So that's that one. And number six, but it's number one and two. <clears throat> and you may have seen it, but the Christmas. Chronicles um, with Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. Hilarious. I absolutely love Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. For all of you people in my age group, Kurt Russell played a mean Elvis and he plays a mean Santa. So the Christmas Chronicles 1 and 2, and we've both watched them, I don't even know how many times, but every time we watch it, we just laugh hysterically, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's one of our favorites. So it's actually two movies, but I included them as one just because it's part one and part two. So Christmas Chronicles, if you haven't seen it yet, your kids will truly, truly enjoy it. They'll, have, they'll realize what the magic of Santa is all about. So that is a great one. So number seven is Angels in the Snow. Oh, 
and Angels in the Snow. Um, I'll just read the little synopsis because that's easier. So when nothing short of a miracle can hold a deteriorating family together, a Christmas getaway sets the stage for a miracle to occur, a heartwarming family story of love, loss, and rediscovery. And it's about a family whose marriage is falling apart and the kids are upset and they go to, we'll say it's Vermont, it's Vermont or New Hampshire. And um, the father's built this magnificent house to entertain clients. And then they meet a family. A family comes knocking at their door in the middle of a snowstorm. And I, that's all I'm gonna tell you, <coughs> excuse me, but it is an absolutely beautiful movie. So again, it's Angels in the Snow, one of my favorites. These are all my favorites. So we have that one. Then we have, Christmas in Vermont. And they'll go get snow in. To take place in New England, and I live in New England, so it's kind of cute. So um, Christmas in Vermont, gotta put my glasses back on, and I dropped my paper. All right, so let me tell you about that one. Okay, so Riley Thomas is a rising star at one of the world's most noted holding companies. With Christmas fast, fast approaching, she is sent to a small town of Chesbo Chestnut, Vermont to evaluate a business. And that one does have Chevy Chase in it, and it has um, some other famous people in it as well. And that's really cute. And <laughs> Chevy Chase in the movie wants a tan milkshake. So I don't know about you, but I have no idea what the heck a tan milkshake is. It has to be tan. But it's a story of a, of a woman who goes there all like kind of undercover to say she's there to help the company, but really she's there to disassemble it. They find out and it's her whole story and how how the Christmas spirit actually changed her, changed her views and changed, changed who she was. And it's really a beautiful story. So that's that one. And then we have the Christmas calendar. The Christmas calendar little synopsis is when Emily, a struggling baker in a small town, receives a handmade Christmas calendar from a secret admirer, the local residents become obsessed with finding out the identity of the sender. And that one is really a cute movie. It's kind of like a Lifetime movie kind of thing. It probably was on Lifetime at one point, but it's really cute. She's a baker. This guy moves in as a baker across the street. So they're baking against each other. And this calendar shows up, um, like an advent calendar with each of the days. And the whole town wants her to go right to the end, but she ends up doing one day at a time. And it's how it all unravels. And it really is such a cute movie. And then the last one, <coughs> excuse me, is the other tearjerker that I told you about. And it's called Shoelaces for Christmas. that will make you cry your eyes out. But it's about a self-absorbed teenager learns the true meaning of Christmas spirit through the support of her family, an unexpected encounter with a very special young girl. And it's about a family who um, ended up volunteering and I can't tell you too much because I will give away um, the movie. But in all honesty, it will tug at your heart and it will show especially kids today growing up, what the true meaning of Christmas is and the season of giving and the season of light and the season of love and how, and we all do it. We take everything, you know, that we have for granted sometimes and, and I do it too. But sometimes, you know, to take a step back and to watch a movie that really touches your heart, really makes you think and look around and makes you want to be a better person. And I love watching movies like this. And again, these ones were all on Amazon Prime or Hulu. One of them might've been on Netflix, but I think that's the majority of where they are. And another channel that we watch all the time through Amazon Prime is Up Faith and Family. And if you're looking for um, great movies with a Christian message in them, subscribe to the Up Family, Up and Family, Up channel but it has all their movies have a religious meaning behind them of kindness and compassion and love. And just after you're watching this channel, you actually want to be a better person. So I think it's wonderful if you can get your kids, your teenagers, or anybody that you know 
wants to get in there and start watching Up Faith and Family because really they have a lot of good movies too. So anyway, that's the end of my top 10. And if you guys want me to tell you Up Faith and Family, my top 10 movies, leave me a comment below and let me know. And I will make a part two to this video with the Up Faith and Family channel and the movies that I recommend. And let me know also in the comments below if there's any Christmas movies that you watch that I should watch or if you have watched any of the ones that I mentioned. And then after, if you do watch some of them, let me know. And you can let me know here on YouTube, or you can let me know over on Instagram at Treasures by Tina 28. And um, I would love to know and share with you guys. So I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. And my next video will be up on Tuesday, right before Christmas. And I hope you guys all have a blessed day and just really grasp the true meaning of Christmas. Bye guys, I'll see you soon. Fill the city There are people everywhere The snow is falling white and pretty As I stroll